if life is so short and insignificant in the grand scheme of everything, then you might as well just, it doesn't matter. Do whatever you want. You know, yeah. you, you can, this is like, this is the, arg- this is the, the rebuttal. Once you hit a nihilistic mindset of like, nothing matters. Like what's the point? Yeah. Nothing. It doesn't. Uh, who cares? I'm not going to try anymore. It's like the rebuttal to that is like, yes, if nothing matters, you can do whatever you want. And you have the choice to either suffer and do the things that are depressing and believe the things that are going to make you sad or limit you. Mm-hmm. Or you can choose to do the things that give you joy. Um, for yeah. the sake of itself, because it, there is no meaning behind it. Just for the sake of of having joy and living a good life, you have that. But the thing is, like, it doesn't matter. You can do either one, and at the end of the day, you're going to end up in a coffin. So, you know, <laughs> yeah. if you want to be miserable, yeah. go ahead. Go for but it. But if you want to go do the things that are fun, go do those. It doesn't yeah. matter. Exactly. You are listening to the Boundless Enigma podcast with Sam Zins and Ryan Mulkentine. On this podcast, we dive into the mind, reality, and existence itself to provide you with boundless ideas and insights. Welcome back to another episode of the Boundless Enigma podcast here with Sam Zins and Ryan. Ryan Mulkentine, that's me. <laughs> that would be me. Sam Zins is me. <laughs> yes, that's... <laughs> This is Sam, and uh, <laughs> thanks for tuning in today. I'm glad you guys have chose to listen to this episode. We got some good stuff here today, hopefully. Um, Wait for now. <laughs> Sam, if you just want to get started, what what, you, yeah. what what was on your mind? Yeah, so um, so I've I've listened to this audio book uh, like the first like few parts of it a couple times off and on and I, I like it so much that I just keep coming back to it and um, this time I'm like almost done with it uh, it's called Atomic Habits have you ever heard of it oh or yeah. read it okay uh, I know a lot of people that have read it okay okay well um, yeah I, I I just I'm so drawn to it I keep coming back to it and um, I'm finally getting almost all the way through it and uh, man I tell you every time that I start listening to this audiobook I immediately understand what he's saying and i understand what i need to do in my life yeah to fix my own problems basically and um well what problems do you need to fix that's that's a good question i mean theoretically there are no problems that i need to fix but i guess it's it's more so about breaking bad habits and creating good habits which in turn make you feel better overall and progress your your life in the way that you want to go and um like this morning i i woke up i took a shower and then i went outside and got 30 minutes of sunlight and drank some nice. drank some water while i was out there and i noticed days where i do that i feel a lot better going throughout the day and then you know right after that i'll eat eat some breakfast and then i'll go on like uh, just like a 15 minute run and then i come back shower like rinse off and i noticed days that i have like this if I feel so much better and um, you know, I feel like I've, I've been learning this through the the book atomic habits and it, it's kind of helping me realize like, Oh, like by just doing like things 1% better each day, like just everything you do, just do it 1% better each day uh, for whatever that means for you. You know, it, it, it accumulates over time and soon enough, you're going to be feeling great. But what happens on a day when you don't perform 1% better? You just have to recognize that, you know what, it's just one of those days, you know, we all have those days. And, um, but that's a good question, you know, and, and it can feel hard in the moment. It's easier said than done. It's, it's, you know, right now I'm saying like, oh, you just have one of those days, but in the right. moment, yeah, it feels like, oh my God, like I'm not, you know, I'll, I'm eating junk food. I'm playing video games. I'm watching TV. I'm not getting outside yeah. at all. You know, I'm doing nothing right. Like I'm doing nothing that I want to be doing, you know? So I definitely get, yeah, that. There are days like that and that's just going to happen. And I think just just being okay with it and just recognizing that like it doesn't have to be like that and it doesn't have yeah. to stay like that, you know? I think like 
there's a place for that like yeah the the building of like understanding like how habits work obviously i don't know the, the book because i haven't read it but mm-hmm. like building good habits for the things that you want to like accrue achieve accumulate in your life like if you want a better body like working out it's a good habit if you want to be uh like mentally healthy maybe getting some sun in the morning like that's a good habit mm-hmm. but also like things that are considered like bad habits i think like shouldn't just be like cut from your life like if you like playing video games like i think there's like if if the if video games genuinely give you joy like maybe it's i don't know if we should just like cut cut those out you know what i mean right right but like yeah maybe like tone it down instead for sure yeah and sure. um you know that's that's part of what james clear in atomic habit that's the author of atomic habit what he was saying is like you know if you you don't have to cut things out of your life. It doesn't mean you can't do them. But if it's intruding on your life, like say I'm playing way too many video games, like, you know, hours on end a day and I'm eating way too much junk food. Well, well, I'll stick with the video games for now. If you're doing that, he's, he's saying like, maybe pull, unplug the Xbox and put it in in another room. And then Mm -hmm. every time you want to play, you have to bring the Xbox in here, plug it in, whatever, boot it up. And once you're done, you have to take it and put it in that other room again. And he's saying that like, things like this that you feel are bad habits right now, you can form into good habits and become healthy with them, you know, and then, and say like, okay. Oh, I'm going to plug it in for an hour, whatever. Yeah. I see what you're, I see what you're saying. So for something like in my mind, like doesn't, it doesn't quite like, I don't know. Anytime that I'm trying to like force myself to do something, it just doesn't quite feel like, right. I get what, do you know what I mean. Like, it's like, there's yeah. like a sense of like, I don't know. This is like, I feel like this is the debate that we always end up having of like, <laughs> do we like need to push ourselves and work hard to achieve? Or like, is is the best thing to accept and like allow and be? Do you know what I mean? Like, I feel like this is yeah. such, I feel like we have this conversation a lot. It's just, it, and it's like, we're going between like the polarities. We're going back and forth between the two extremes and we keep doing this. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, you know, and I, I think I think by you saying that, it kind of clicked with me, like, maybe a balance of the two is is what is yeah. necessary, you know? Like, yeah, sometimes you yeah. do have to kind of force yourself to do things and break bad habits, but also you don't want to be, like, shoving it down your throat and, like, toss yeah. Xbox out, out into the woods and ditch it for good, right. you know? Like, yes. there's a fine line. I agree. That makes, that feels much better to me than mm-hmm. just, like, just like getting like forcing yourself to build habits like right you need to know the know the tool of habit building so that you can like at least get the things that you want to get out of this life but at the same time knowing how to allow accept and love yourself for who you are and where you're at Mm -hmm. uh, at the same time and like like knowing those two sides and being being comfortable with a little bit of Mm -hmm. both i think that feels right to me that feels much better yeah, for sure. For sure. And I, and I think that like that, that example I used of unplugging the Xbox and putting it in a different room is kind of like kind of what that balance is. It's like, you know, you can still have it, but I'm also going to make it harder on myself to go want to do it. And so maybe next yeah. time I have like the the urge like, oh, I want to go play Xbox, you know, instead of just instantly jumping on the Xbox right here, it's like, oh, I have to plug it in. It's like, oh, OK, you know what? Yeah, that kind of like reminds yourself like do you really want to do this or is this just an urge that you have, you know, and then you can make the decision from there. Yeah, that makes sense. Definitely. Interesting. Atomic habits. I I just feel like it's been such like, it's like the book to read. It's like what I've heard is like, everyone's like read it. That's the book you should get if you're starting in self development. Yeah. I I forget where I uh, heard it from, but um, yeah, I mean, off and on through the past, like two years, I've been listening to it. And um, I've, I've gained little things from it each time. And I, I'm, I'm, I'm slow when it comes to gaining, like in, interpreting information. Cause I like to, I like, I like, I like to fully understand it. So yeah. like, I've literally read, okay. been listening to that book in one other book and that's it. You listen to it. <laughs> I listen to it. Yeah. Yeah. Like I'll be at Dude, work and I'll listen to it. I was just thinking like, I have so many books that I need to read, but like, for some reason, like I can't get myself to read it i get like yeah. five pages in and then i just Dude, stop you're me and you know what it's when i start li- it's like i learn the most from podcasts and youtube videos like same all of this stuff that i could read in a book like if i could just listen to it like 
oh my gosh, I'll go for a walk and just listen to that. Like that. Yeah. I'll get so I'll, I'll be so much more invested. I feel like for some reason. Totally agreed. I I wonder why that is. Like, do you think that's due to like a uh, stimulation nowadays and how we just don't have the attention span to read or what? No, honestly, you know what I think? I think it's just a transfer of medium. I think the medium mm. of information is getting transferred to mm. an easier to digest form because it is, it's harder to read. It genuinely is harder to read because yeah. maybe I, I guess maybe you're right. Our attention could be like getting worse, but I think if you just put the information from the book in the media form, that's easier to like keep your attention on. Like I don't, what's there's nothing wrong with that in my opinion. Yeah, no, for sure. And that's what I was just about to say. Like you are right. It, it's just transferring over to, to technology like as with many things nowadays and that doesn't mean it's necessarily a bad thing like in some instances right. yeah it can be bad but but with like yeah. an audiobook yeah i don't see anything wrong with that you know as long as you're right. still digesting it you know and understanding it so yes. yeah I, I think it's important that i think that's a good point for a lot of things in life is just to do things the way that you feel you want to do them you know you don't have to yeah you know fulfill this like image of yourself like oh i read books you know like if you want to that's awesome yeah. but if you don't if you don't want to then don't don't do it you know yeah listen to audiobooks instead right like is your identity like tied up in like being the self-improvement guy that reads books yeah it's like or can you do self-development and like and try to improve yourself but like right. not care about the image that you put out about it like if you're getting information somehow like that's what matters if you're making the exactly. changes that you want to see then how you get That's, the information and how you make the changes doesn't particularly matter. Right. Exactly. Right. Exactly. And that goes for a lot of yeah. things. You know, you, you just, just because one person does it this way, doesn't mean that you have to do it that way. You know, like you can, there's so many ways to do everything, especially with technology. It seems like, you know, you can, you can look up any way to do anything and it, you could find 50 million examples and um, you know, you just find the one that works for you. There's no right or wrong yeah. one. So Dude, so talking about like the the like balance thing of of like being and accepting and loving and then going to the other side of like doing and achieving and like pushing yourself. I feel like two or three weeks ago I was on your side of like pushing myself and going, going, and you were on the side of like, I'm not doing enough, I've just been accepting. Yeah. And then we switched. <laughs> and now I'm I've been like, hey, I need to relax, I need to be kinder to myself. So yeah, I've been like yeah not doing as much yeah but you've been you've been doing more yeah, i've been chucking away <laughs> so that's interesting that like <laughs> that we've, we've like swapped yeah and, and you know that that is super interesting that that is super interesting and that that kind of tells me like okay like it, that's so that's super interesting because like it sh it, it's like it's like a a visual representation of like how we are as humans and how we're trying to figure things out and we've tried each other's ways and maybe that balance like we were just talking about is the way to do it. Yeah. Like, and, but also maybe at times you do need that push. Like I felt like I needed that push for myself and maybe you felt like you needed that relaxation for yourself. So maybe, maybe I, we're just getting to a point of balance. I think the balance is, I don't think there's like, I don't think it's like you need to do both at the same time, find the middle ground. I think right. it works. Like you need to have periods of, of like a few days or a few weeks of one. And then, having a few days and a few weeks of the other. And that is the balance. It's just an oscillation. Yeah, true. Maybe. Yeah, you know, that's cause... true. And, and and just testing it out as we obviously are is important in discovering what, what that balance is really like. But I think that's a good yeah. uh, like observation that you have there. Yeah, could be. I don't know. Something I just don't feel like it's like stable enough to just like keep it in the middle of doing both. Because I feel like... Right. I don't know. There's like, there's almost like a novelty aspect to it where it's like when you get like after a long period of being on the chill side, like getting an inspiration of like, and having motivations, like it's kind of exhilarating. It's like, it's kind of yeah. a rush. Yeah. And then you're, like, you're over here like, Oh, it's exciting. It's new. Like I got to do this and this and this you're like, Oh, this is cool. I'm discovering <laughs> this. And then after a while you get kind of get tired of being here and then you're like, Oh, I come back here. Like, Oh, this is nice. Like I need to be kinder to myself. I need to slow down. And then there's the newness of that side. I think it might just, is it like the chase of novelty in a way that 
to keep the balance? Yeah, you know, that's a that's a good question. I I feel like I feel like that can be good, you know, and, and like we were just saying a second ago, I don't think there's a right or wrong way to do things. You do it your your own way, but yeah, I don't know. I, I feel like maybe maybe going to the extreme of either maybe isn't healthy to be doing constantly, but maybe there's like more of a middle ground, maybe not a complete because like, yeah, you, I don't think it's possible to get a complete middle ground of the two, but yeah, I do feel like there be. is a somewhat of a middle ground, but yeah, maybe there is. Yeah. I wonder yeah, if I guess... personality plays a part too that's like true. like i know a guy i worked in the kitchen with him like two summers ago who he he had a routine and he stuck to it and he just he loved the consistency like he loved yeah. staying in the one thing and just doing it over and over like that he loved routine and scheduling but like yeah. i have a feeling that like people like you and me don't particularly love that mm -hmm. you know for sure like as who we are yeah, maybe. Yeah, I, I, I definitely how. can agree with that. And, um, you know, I do like routine to some extent, but definitely not to like same thing over and over. Like, I don't want to be flipping chicken wings for the rest of my life. Like, sure. that's not the kind of routine I want. Yeah. Because I, I, I need some kind of like, like, like what we do, I we record on Tuesdays. That's a routine I like, because it's like, I mm -hmm. look forward to having a new conversation every week. You know, it's not like, right. Oh, I'm flipping a new chicken wing every week. You know, it's it's yeah. it's more exciting in that way. It's got a different aspect to it. Definitely, that's very interesting. That's a good point because this is definitely a routine, but it doesn't. It's never. It's never like forced or like dry. Yeah, which exactly some routines are. For sure, for sure. Just yeah, I, and I, I think it's just about spicing up your routine in different ways uh to to your to your liking basically you know i mean even even at, at work when i flip chicken wings I, I do i do things differently to help me i don't know enjoy my job basically you know yeah i mean like i mean i could choose to be lazy and dirty and yeah. like cut corners but i, I don't do that because like that's just not as fun as doing it correctly what what are you thinking about lately like future wise career wise like what do you like is there anything that you have your eye on or like things you've been like looking up or anything? Well, I, uh, my counselor, I was just talking to her like last week and, um, apparently there's like this opportunity with, um, this, I don't, I don't know if, what to call it organization, uh, that does mm -hmm. that where they have like parents who lost ownership over their children come in and their children are there too or something like that i don't know the full extent of everything but basically i'd be i'd be helping out with like taking care of the children or talking to the parents or whatnot and obviously responsibility cannot be put on me because i'm not trained to do you know i'm not i'm not a psychologist or anything but it it's it sounds like a cool uh situation because i i'm really big into uh getting into the meat of things and that sounds like that's mm -hmm. a hectic situation for a lot of people yeah. and that that, that kind of sounds uh no it's gonna get real <laughs> yeah it's gonna get real that's the way i look at it yeah yeah, yeah. and i i like i like realness so definitely that's kind of like cool. that's my future right now yeah nice yeah. that's interesting are you so are you gonna like is it a volunteer position or is it a job uh i believe i'm gonna be getting paid yeah it's a job so uh um, nice yeah and it's an internship that's cool so. So yeah, nice. no, I, I look forward to that. Um, just getting in, like you said, getting into the meat of it. But dang, I wonder if that's gonna see. be kind of sad at all, or like, what? Yeah. Who knows what? You might see some dark stuff. You might see some cool stuff. That it just sounds like it's gonna be a lot to unpack. Definitely gonna be. Yeah. It's just, it's gonna offer a lot of of knowledge. Probably, I could only imagine. Yeah, for sure. You know, I I I feel like. I can be a big problem solver at times. So yeah, I, I'm, I feel like I'll be good at kind of disconnecting, not, not, you know, not totally disconnecting cause I, it's, that's impossible, but kind of disconnecting from what's going on there and kind of treating this as like my work, you know what I mean? And, yeah. um, and looking at it as like a problem that I need to solve. So I think you're, I think you're really good at, of that of like being able to see a conflict like or there have there be some sort of conflict yeah. um 
or debate or something and being able to like disconnect your emotions from it, but still like logically be there to work through it. Exactly. Like, that That's exactly we, my goal. That happens here on the podcast. Like we'll have debates about things and you, you're very much like, you know, it, you don't get very like emotional about it. You're just kind of like, Oh yeah. Like I see that point. I see this. Here's what I have to say. Like it, yeah. you're, you're good at like, I, yeah. I can see Thank that you. happening in what you're, going to be doing on this internship like that makes sense i can see that yeah well thank you for recognizing that i definitely attempt to to be like that um so yeah we'll, we'll see but you know cool thing different things happen so you never know what's going to happen but um you know i'm ready for whatever it may be but um well what about you are you are you in line for anything or ah dude I'm, I'm still doing a lot of research i feel like every week i have a new career that i'm <laughs> researching yeah and I can never quite, I can never quite find like, I don't, I'm at the point where I don't think there's going to be a career that fulfills me. Like, I don't think there's one thing that's going to be like the career for me. Right, I think, right. I think I get most of my joy from like hobbies and from like spending time alone outside, going to walking in nature, creating video content for fun. But none of those things, I don't think. I am going to realistically going to be able to make into a career. So I'm thinking I'm just going to end up, I think I'm going to try to find a job that like pays well, isn't soul sucking. And I, <laughs> my plan, this is my newest scheme. <laughs> is I'm <laughs> So I'm planning on, have you heard of the fire movement? F I R E. No, it's called, Financial independence, retire early. Mm, so okay, they have it all set up. You can go to Reddit. There's a Reddit forum on called Fire, and they have a plan for you. And you just you save as much of your income as possible, and invest it right away. And until you're like like 20 years from now, if you do it correctly, you can have enough money to retire on, and the stock market will keep going up. Yeah, with this stuff like historically, and you'll be able to retire early. And I think if I just if I make enough money and keep just investing it all immediately, maybe when I'm like 45, 50, I can just retire and then live my life how I want to and ah, do the things I want to do whenever I want, kind of, you know, because that's where I yeah. get most of my joy. That's that sounds awesome. That wow. So, so how did, how did you discover this? Where you just you said you were researching? I feel like I've always kind of been interested in like personal finances, not like finance in general, but like my own personal yeah. finance. Like I've always been very much a penny pincher, like very, I love deals. I love saving, saving <laughs> money is just the best feeling. I seriously love it. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I've always kind of been like that, but then I found this like a few months ago and I've been kind of like thinking about it and doing some research on it. But I think, honestly, I might just become a salesman. I might, I might go into sales because I know that it's very lucrative if you, oh yeah, if you get good and get in the For right sure. industry, you, you can make a lot of money. So, if I start making a hundred k, hundred fifty k in sales, if I get really good at it, I can put away money really quickly and retire in like twenty years. That would be awesome! Wow, wouldn't it? Damn. Yeah, I, it's, I don't know. Maybe it's not possible, but it's, it's just it's, a, it's just a thought. Least. It's yeah. just an idea, really. Yeah, you know, and so. I, I feel like a lot of like older people have told me, you know, you're you're so young, like don't worry, don't get overwhelmed by it all. You'll find something, and yeah. you know, I I I agree with them, but yes, it's also to, good to have ideas you know i mean like you're doing right now because yeah. like without doing that then you're just going to be sitting here and just in in 10 years you're going to be wanting to to have a job but then you're, then you're going to be looking for a job and then you'll probably have to just fall back on something that you don't really enjoy at all and um yeah you know i think that's like the worst nightmare of anybody who is in our situation is just falling into something that that's just not fun or enjoyable you know yeah, I just feel like I don't know. Most of the positions right now, like, are going to be jobs that are at some point just going to get monotonous and kind of I don't know. 
not fulfilling, but I, I don't think it's really, I don't know if there's going to be a job that's going to be that fulfilling, to be honest. What do you think? Fair do you enough. think there's like, do you think that there's going to be a job for you that's like, oh, like this feels good to be doing this every day? Yeah, I, I think that there is. Um, I, I, I believe that you could make anything fun, you know, kind of like what I was saying about my job uh, at, at Flipping Wings, you know, like I, I make it fun. You know, it, it it's not the most exciting job in the world. I, you know, make burgers and wings and whatnot. And, but, uh, you know, I, I think just like putting your own little touch on things, you know, like I'll be putting some Chipotle ranch on some fries and I'll, I'll try to make it a really nice pattern. You know what I mean? Like, like that kind of yeah. thing, you know, like it, I could just be like, like, I don't care. Like get these out of my way. I want to sit here and do nothing, but no, I take my time and I try to make things look nice. I clean, yeah. you know, all these things, you know? So I think that if you can have an attitude where, you want to enjoy what you're doing. I think you can make it enjoyable. Okay. But I also do understand that, you know, like after years and years of doing something, yeah, I'm sure that over time things might get a little dull. So, you so know, maybe you could switch it up. You think that. attitude you think attitude is very important for the for career satisfaction. Yeah, I mean, I I can tell you by looking around in my kitchen that I work at you know, I can tell you the people who care about their job and the people who don't care about their job, you can tell the difference in their attitude and how happy they, they seem. I mean, it's, yeah, that's just from my experience in my kitchen, but it's, it's very like night and day, uh, the way I see it. Interesting. Yeah. I, I feel like I have some mental resistance to like that thing, but I honestly think it's because like, that's the part of my brain that doesn't want to take responsibility, you know? Mm. It's the part of my brain that like is like, well, things are just going to be how it is. And it's not my attitude doesn't matter. It's just how things yeah. are. But then another part of my brain is like, well, that's just you making excuses for why. Uh-huh. Do you know what I mean? It's like, yeah, if you take if you take responsibility for your attitude, then maybe you really do have control over how you like. I mean, obviously, you do have control, some control over your attitude. Yeah and how yeah. you view it so yeah so, I think so like, what you're saying is like getting engaged in your own world so to speak you think is what could help you it's like well my initial thing was that like i i know that a lot of people are going to have resistance to what you're saying that like oh it's just an attitude change like a lot of people are going to i have a little resistance to that mindset as well it's like it's just just change your attitude everything's fine like yeah people are going to have resistance to that idea and that philosophy but I yeah. think that resistance is just because people and myself don't want to take responsibility for the situation. Mm, Do you know what yeah. I'm saying? And yeah. so if you can take radical responsibility for your situation, mm-hmm. then you have the motivation to change your attitude and then you can actually be happier in your situation. You know, But it's just like it's it takes – it takes a little bit of effort and people don't like to put yeah. in the effort, but I think it's, I think it, well, I think what you're saying is right, but I see the resistance, but I mm-hmm. think you're right. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and I, I think that uh, a lot of it has to do with our egos, you know, cause our egos don't want us to listen to people at times. And I'm not saying I'm completely right by any means. Cause I don't, I don't know anything, but, but I, yeah. I do believe that our egos really don't want us to listen to things like, you know, there's certain people in my life where if they like give me advice or something like that, I will be way less prone to taking it than if somebody else gave me that same exact advice. Of course. So, you know, I, I think that our egos play a major role in it. And, um, you know, our egos are almost like scared for us to fail at what we do, you know, like, like, yeah. I don't want to put all this effort into my job or whatever it is. And then, and then find out that I don't like it or whatever, or, you know, I, I don't know. It's like, it's like yeah. our, we're sabotaging ourselves with our egos. Yeah. I see that too. I can, I see what you're saying. It's like, there's a possibility to fail and we don't want, we don't want it to take the possibility of failure. So we're just going to give up now. Exactly. Exactly. It's, it's like, it's like uh, an example in my life that I feel like I've overcome like the past year is like talking to strangers and not caring as much about what people think of me in public 
And, you know, the first few times talking to a stranger, it's like, oh, shit, like, I, I don't want to, like, I don't actually want to do this. Yeah. But then you do it and then you find out it's not so scary. But then, you know, you might have somebody right. who just doesn't seem interested or whatever. And it's like, oh, crap, they yeah. didn't like that. That was bad. But then now I'm at the point yeah. where it's like, I don't care. I don't care at all. It's you like, know? it's like if you, if you have five people that don't want to have a conversation, they just kind of push you off. But then you have one person that's like really into it. It's like that, it makes the, the other five worth it. Because oh, that connection that you have is like, or that conversation can be so surprising. And like, I think the things that surprise you are like, they're just more powerful and they're, they're much cooler than exactly. Some, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. And, and also, you know, dissolving your ego is, is extremely powerful, you know, cause like, I think at the root of it, that's what that, that's what I was in the process yeah. of doing Dude. in that sense. And I think getting a lot of those rejections and no's from people, I think that's just, that's an ego dissolver right there. Cause oh, it, I mean, if you sure. can't take it, then you're, then you're going to put yourself in a position <laughs> where you don't get no's anymore. Right. And then you keep yeah. your ego, but if you continually put yourself out there to get rejected over and over mm -hmm. again, and whatever it is, whether it's like making friends, uh, dating yeah. or like sales or something like you're going to get bashed so many times that you have no choice, but to shed your ego. <laughs> until oh, and then eventually you're you're more open and then it makes maybe then you'll have a much more genuine connection when somebody really does want to talk to you for sure yeah and 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 also to add on to that um you know you you start to realize like it doesn't matter like like people want to talk you can have these great conversations and all these things but also you you start to realize by diminishing your ego it also allows you to understand yourself better and then you can start to improve your own life better because now it's not all about me it's not all about my ego it's not about me getting rejected or failing or having this chance of somebody seeing me be awkward or embarrassed you know it turns yeah. into i'm gonna do this and 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 then you have and then you have like this whole room uh, to to think about other things in your life and you don't have to be thinking about getting rejected or being yeah. scared yeah, it, it opens up. It's like the space in your like this, the the thoughts of fear towards rejection take up so much mental space yeah. and energy that if you can eventually dissolve it and get rid of it, it's like that opens up so much more energy and mental like room for other things like for a more genuine connection for more mm -hmm. honesty for more creativity and what you're saying. It's like if you can get rid of that fear it's like that's taken up so much of your energy oh yeah yeah for yeah. sure and 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 that's just like one situation you know in in talking to people in public or whatever like we were just talking about that's just one situation imagine if you could go even further with that and diminish your ego in all different other areas of your life imagine how much room you would have to 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 improve yourself you know that yeah. that's just it's a lot yeah because we that all have sense. egos about certain things. And what you're saying feels good, man. Like it, it feels right. Like it feels like it, like I'm like picturing like in my head, yeah. like I'm picturing like a before and after picture of like before with ego and after without ego. Yeah. And it's like, I see like the before with ego feels very like constricted and tight and like, yeah, yeah. there's no tense. flow there. Yeah. Very tense. Like you're holding all this energy and then the after it's like it feels like there's just a flowing there's like a creative yeah. force to it there's a allowing and things more creative uh it just feels much better like you're allowing the yeah. stream of whatever's happening to flow more uh easily yeah and it, it, it's like it's like whatever is happening is happening and you can do whatever you want to do and think whatever you want to think like it's try to it's control such a it freedom yeah exactly you don't yeah. have to you don't you don't feel the need <clears throat> to have to control everything, you know, and it's kind of, it's that's kind of like a paradox, you know, it's like by not feeling the need to control things in turn gives you more control almost, you know. Yeah. Or maybe like it doesn't give you more control, but it gives you a more pleasurable outcome in a way that you would want with the it's yeah. like the thing that you're desiring to get with the control, you'll then get more easily without control, but you won't have control. Yeah. Right, right, right. Yeah, you know? e exactly, exactly. But it almost feels like it, but it's not. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It almost feels like you have it feels like you might have more control even when you are relinquishing control. Exactly. Yeah, cuz then you kind of realize, oh, I don't need control, you know, and I don't even want control. Which you know, oh, I, that is such a paradox. Yeah. <laughs> it's like <laughs> right. I don't I don't need to control everything and then that would then give you more control that's so crazy yeah right <laughs> i know <laughs> yeah yeah absolutely and it, it, i i find situations uh funny where where people like clearly you know like there, we, all, we all have these people where we we see them in public or our friends whatever who they're like you they clearly want control of something it mm-hmm. to me it's funny to see that and, and just like completely not care and just let them have that control because they look so stressed out about something silly you know and and I, I don't yeah. I don't like to see people stressed out, but you know you just realize that they're in this like state where it's like you can't help them. They're just, they just want this control yes. for some reason, and it's like, dude, I don't care. You can have that control. I don't want Go it. Go for it. You know. <laughs> and and then and then all yes. of a sudden, all of a sudden, it's like it's not me fighting them for the control and us two just looking like idiots together. It's all of a sudden like them just doing their thing, and then you doing your thing, and not really caring about them wanting all that. You know. Yeah, it's it's just such a funny situation to me. <laughs> that reminds me of the TikTok video I sent you of that. Yeah, remember it was like the I sent I sent Sam for the listeners that don't know about this TikTok. It's I'll describe it for you. It's essentially this guy who had a near death experience. He drowned and died for a few minutes, and he had a near he had an experience, out of body experience where he essentially mm-hmm. like went into he he merged with infinity essentially he merged with infinity he dropped his body and just merged with everything with divine infinity um and while he was in that state it was like he was talking to him his his divine nature was talking to him and he was like let's let's review your life do you see oh do you see here well while you were so angry about this thing doesn't it seem so insignificant now that you're merged with divine infinite infinite energy it's like it doesn't matter anymore it's like it it was saying like the the afterlife was basically telling him like the things in this life that we get so worked up about are so insignificant in the span of infinity in the span of everything it's like whether your food came out cold or not um it's nothing it's literally it means nothing and if you're if you're wasting your time like getting upset about little things or or trying to control certain things and then it makes you upset it's completely irrelevant and insignificant and you're wasting your time and it's like it's like um trying to fight the wind you're trying to blow into the wind when the wind yeah. is going this way it's like it doesn't so, matter you, you sure by by all means like go for it go for it you have the freedom <laughs> to blow in the wind trying to force the wind on the other direction but it doesn't matter you know yeah and how much how much are we doing that this like insignificant screaming into the wind trying to control it when there's absolutely no reason to or or point or relevance to it yeah yeah absolutely yeah and, and just taking a step back and realizing like like why am i blowing into the wind trying to push it the other way like I don't why why does this matter? Like why why does that matter at yeah. all, you know? And and just allowing yourself to just sit in that wind instead, you know, and and it just flow with it, literally. <laughs> you know? Yeah. And right. It feels so much better to do that. Oh, it feels so much better. It feels it cuz it's aligned with reality, it's aligned with nature. When you're when you're flowing with it, you're flowing with everything versus trying to fight everything. It's like that's it just doesn't feel good to try to fight the natural flow of things. It feels bad. Yeah, absolutely. My my therapist likes to say, uh, "Let the river flow where it may." And um, very similar yeah. example. You know, why why try to swim upstream when the when it's going downstream? You know, just go with it. You know, it's not scary. Yeah. Even though sometimes it does it does seem scary at, at points, but I think right. you just have to trust reality. Kind of like what um, your friend Jack was saying on on the podcast. I kind of learned mm-hmm. that from him is he was talking about trusting reality a lot and stop being victim to it, you know, and that's yeah. a good point, you know, just trust it. Trusting the flow. Yeah. Trust the flow. 
Yeah, don't worry so it's much about where it's going. I mean, yeah, you, that doesn't mean you shouldn't, you know, think at all ahead of, uh, ahead of where it's going. But right. also don't stress about it. It's like maybe like finding – it's not saying that you shouldn't try to do anything or like achieve anything. But it's like try to find the things that flow naturally for you. Like if – yeah. Like, don't try to achieve, um, like, to become a doctor if you hate, just, you know, if you hate medicine or you hate working yeah. with, like, ill people. It's like, no. What you should do is you, you should still try to achieve things in your life, but just try to achieve the things that you genuinely are naturally inclined to go do. Like, that's with the flow of life, not trying to go yeah. against it if that's not your true nature, right? It, yeah, exactly. Like listening to yourself. You know, I, I wrote that in my journal this morning, like listen to yourself, you know, because yeah. when you listen to yourself, you realize that there's like competing voices in your head that are going on. Yeah. And it's like, there's this one voice trying to tell you like, oh, you should be doing this. Like you should become a doctor. But then your other voice is saying like, no, I really don't want to do that. And then there's this voice, but it's like, oh, but like, uh, what are you going to do if you don't get a degree? But uh, Well, I could do this. Well, what if that doesn't work out? And then there's like these, all these competing voices yeah. all going on at one time instead of just so, listening to the one that's saying, don't do it. What would happen if like we could just silence all of those voices for a moment? You're not listening to any voices at all. And if yeah. you're just being, what are you naturally inclined to do or or be? How are you inclined to like, B, if you shut up all the voices, I think that should be, that's the answer right there. That's your intuition. Mm -hmm. It's that silent kind of like pull, right? Yeah. yeah. You know? Yeah. It's, it's the one that, you know, aligns with what your life is, is right now, you know? And it's the one that is dealing with what's in front of you. And, um, and yeah, it, it can't hurt to sometimes check into other things it, it doesn't hurt at all but right it it'll tell you what you need to do you know and like the yeah it's not even what you need to do it's just it tells you what you want to do and yeah you just gotta listen to it it's always there i think it's like if something feels exciting to you it's like go do it go try it because i think that yeah. is yourself showing you what's m most aligned with like your true nature of this moment like go if something feels exciting to you like go go for it go through that because that's where you are naturally being pulled that's where you're flowing naturally and then yeah. maybe it, it doesn't turn out well then you know then you know it's not right but just following that excitement or that that low level excitement in the pole i feel like i feel like that's that's the guide that's the that's the key yeah yeah, trusting yourself you know? and the universe that yeah that you'll end up somewhere, you know, and like you said, maybe you'll end up finding out you don't like it, but you might end up finding out you do like it. And regardless of what right. happens, whichever way the ball ball rolls there, it, it's it's a way and you're going to gain from it regardless, you know, and I, I don't mean gain in the way that like you're going to like get stuff from it, but you're going right. to gain understanding and knowledge from it. And that, and that's, yeah. that's all you can ever ask for is just gaining, gaining knowledge and understanding, you know, that, to me, that's yeah. some of the most valuable things. Definitely. Yeah. <sighs> and, and, and I think be, be, by being drawn by, that instead of being drawn by you know the benefits of of uh you know i don't know the money or the uh the appreciation or the right you know the the status is what i was looking for there you know instead of like looking for that kind of stuff and just going with the flow and just understanding that you're just here to do things <laughs> for no reason right you know yeah why like, not do that <laughs> we're yeah if life is so short and insignificant in the grand scheme of everything then you might as well just it doesn't matter do whatever you want you know yeah you you can this is like this is the arg this is the the rebuttal once you hit a nihilistic mindset 
of like nothing matters like what's the point nothing it it doesn't who cares i'm not gonna try anymore it's like the rebuttal to that is like yes if nothing matters you can do whatever you want and you have the choice to either suffer and do the things that are depressing and believe the things that are going to make you sad or limit you, mm-hmm. or you can choose to do the things that give you joy um, for yeah. the sake of itself. Cause it, there is no meaning behind it just for the sake of, of having joy and living a good life. You have that. But the thing is like, it doesn't matter. You can do either one. And at the end of the day, you're going to end up in a coffin. So, you know, <laughs> yeah. if you want to be miserable, yeah. go ahead, go for but it. But If you want to go do the things that are fun, Go do those. Doesn't yeah, matter. Exactly. Exactly. And and it's it's funny because it, that like what we're saying is like so contrary to what I feel like everybody says, basically. You know, it, and you know people are gonna say have fun, but they're gonna be like, but make sure that you do this, 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 and this before you know before you have fun or whatever. Yeah. But it's like. Sometimes you got to like realize that <laughs> everybody's got their own ways of doing things and kind of like what we were saying a little bit ago, you got your own ways. Just do do it your way. Mm-hmm. You know. Yeah. And, and not, n- people are going to dislike it. People are going to mm-hmm. dislike you for it. They're going to dislike your idea of how to do it. They're going to but then you they're going to come across people who are understanding of it and yep. you're going to click and then it's going to under it's going to make sense. Yeah. It's like probably 3000 years ago there was a father who wanted his son to keep the family business of raising pigs, you know? Mm-hmm. And the son, 3,000 years ago, said, <laughs> I don't want to. I want to go yeah. herd sheep with this other family. And the, the the dad was pissed, and he did everything in his power to reprimand his son. And the son, yeah. he went off and did his thing, herding sheep instead. And you know and what? like the sheep. <laughs> they're, both, they're both dead now. Um, True. <laughs> and nobody knows who they are <laughs> because they made them up. <laughs> but... <laughs> These hypothetical, this hypothetical dad and son, no one will ever think about them ever again, ever. And they ever. both, you know, the dad chose to be angry and the, the son chose to be free. And that's it. That's it. And it doesn't matter anymore. <laughs> doesn't matter. Nope. Uh, that's so wild to think about. Yeah. That really does not right? matter. Like legacy is just a joke. There's no such thing as Apply legacy. Apply it now. What's yeah. like your your legacy now? Like if your parents want you to do something and you want someone to, uh, someone else, yeah. I mean, it's it's literally at the end of the day. If they don't support you, they're choosing that. They're choosing to be upset. They're choosing their yeah suffering. They're choosing their suffering, and you're choosing your yeah. freedom. Or you know, yeah. So. And I, you know, what I find interesting about everything that we've talked about so far is that it 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 doesn't sound complicated to me, but I can see how it could sound complicated, but. I just want to take a quick step back and realize how simple yeah. it really is. You don't have to do anything, basically. That's the that's the answer. Mm-hmm. Is you don't have to do anything. And yeah. when you realize you don't have to do anything, then you can realize like, okay, well, if I don't have to do anything, or yeah, if I don't have to do anything, then I can do anything. So mm-hmm. there you go. That's, that's a relief. Your it's a relief. That's a huge relief. When you Absolutely. If you have that realization and you know it with your heart. Oh, that just, you're free. Like in that moment, yeah. you are free. Yeah. Yeah. The pressures of life, you know, you're still going to feel pressures because it's, you know, it's life. Things are going to yeah. catch you. But in general, yeah, it takes some a lot of pressure off of you. And it's like, wow, okay, I don't, I can do anything that I want to do. And, and then once you realize that, then you can jump in that river and start flowing. You don't have to keep yep. fighting up the current like you have been. You know, you can just let just go. Just float. Yep. Just let go of everything. Just float. Float down the river. See where it takes you. Yeah. Well, one of like the most easy words to remember for this is be. That's it. Just be. You know. Just be. That's it. There's nothing. Then there's nothing people. Else. This is what people have been saying for centuries, for millennia. Yeah. The, the wise men, like this, is what they're saying. They're saying, like, at the end of the day, just be. It's like just be. Uh, Eckhart. Eckhart Tolle says, like, rest, just rest in awareness, uh, like Ram Das, like as much as it's just like love, just like be in love. Like we're just, you know, everyone has this kind of similar message of just like, 
you know, we're all going to die. It, life is kind of insignificant. So just love, just be. Yeah. Just love, just be. Yeah. And, and then, and then you have, uh, comedians who have the same uh stance like rodney <laughs> yeah i I, nice. I, lo- I love the way I, I love the way he puts it he like because he adds his own <clears> little <throat> twist on it of just like man eh, whatever just just be whatever i don't care do whatever yeah. you want to do <laughs> i forgot about him and he he literally had that exact philosophy yeah yeah and and, and you can tell he he lives his life he does what he wants to do and he's happy he doing does it, you know he it's awesome <laughs> he drove out into the countryside and drank a beer to be on our podcast on his cell phone. Like that's yeah, freedom, what? dude. That is freedom. Yeah, dude. Do what, do what you want to do. That, that's yeah. it. <laughs> uh, it. It's great seeing people like that. Cause it really, uh, you know, having conversation, having an actual conversation with somebody like that really helps you understand that you can really engulf that whole uh, belief. It, it's, it's, it's real. It's not it's not a facade like this isn't just something that you just post on the Internet or just say like this is something for real. Like you can live your life like this, whether there's cameras on you yeah. or not. Right. Yeah, I think I think like. People would kind of say, like, how do you do it, though? How do you actually relinquish control? Like I have like what if you have kids and you got to feed them or like you got to. Yeah. I don't know. Like, I think. It, I think there's a lot of like nuance that is probably tricky to accept sure. that mindset, but I think at the end of the day, it's like people get caught up in their emotions and the emotions are what kind of control us. So maybe just allow the emotions to be how they are and accept them and flow with your emotions as well. And yeah. if, if you're forced to work so that you can feed your kids, like maybe like, try to find the flow in that somehow like yeah like you're saying with the chicken wings like that's like, what i was just about to say. you know you, yeah. you gotta work you gotta make money but you can like you can get creative in making your chicken wings you can have fun yeah. with it the added it comes back to the attitude yeah absolutely in within anything you can find uh joy you know if, if you if you really want the joy that is if, if you don't really want it then you're probably going to be unhappy doing it and yeah it's probably going to show it's going to show up as a result in your life you know and that yeah that doesn't mean things are easy you know I'm, i understand there's you know single mothers out there who have like four children to feed and are working three yeah, jobs who, constantly <laughs> you know i'm, sure I'm not saying single mothers are listen to our podcast oh yeah they are yeah yeah yeah. (laughs) but see that's what i'm saying like if you are that single mother doing that theoretically what i would be doing is is yeah like if i'm able if i'm working in a kitchen or something like that listen to like a a self-development book or something like that you know like like improve your life in ways when you can it doesn't mean that you can constantly be doing it you know and not certainly not as much as like you or i could be at this time Mm -hmm. but you can do things there. It's possible, you know, and it's not going to be easy, but it's possible. And in my mind, if anything's possible, then it's worth trying to do, you know? You know, I find interesting is when you start getting into personal development, it, it's very much like a grinding. It's like a, it's a grind mindset. You're trying for sure. You're pushing yourself, trying to achieve, trying to get, trying to do, you know, but eventually if you get far enough down the rabbit hole and you learn enough, it becomes less about the grind and it becomes more, it almost becomes more spiritual in a way, okay. which is interesting. Like if you go far enough down the line of, of personal development, you hit spirituality and then you, yeah. and then, and then you come to these things where it's more about like allowing and flowing, which is like completely the opposite of where you started, which is right. so yeah. strange. Yeah, it, it is strange. Yeah, it, it it like they combine at some point. Yes. Yeah, and and that's important because there they, it is a little bit of both. Like you know, you have your you have your like yeah. metaphysical stuff to talk about, but you also have practical stuff like getting a job yeah. and doing your job. So yeah, it's a balance, kind of like what we were talking about earlier with balance. It's a balance of the two, you know, Dude. understanding <laughs> that you have this life to live, but also there's things to think about. Yes. How do we do this? How do we make <laughs> like that Full that circles. theme from the beginning? It just like it it like wrapped it up like perfectly. Like B 
because it's yeah. it's all the same. It's all combined. It's there's nothing different about it. It everything is attached to everything. Oh my god. There is no it's there the is non-dual. No, yeah. There's exactly no, it is. It's the non dual. All two sides are on the the two sides are on the same coin. It's yeah. one thing. Exactly. If if you I feel like if you deep eh, deep dig deep enough <laughs> There, there. <laughs> if you deep dig enough, then, yeah. Then, yeah. If you go on a deep dig, then you will find <laughs> out that there that there is a connection of some sort in some way somehow to everything. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's wow. very fascinating. Jesus, that's crazy. Holy shit. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, I think on that note, we should probably we should yeah. wrap it up because that was we really. Tied we those we, we both ends together. Deep. <laughs> we deep digged. <laughs> we deep we deep digged. That's what it was. Yeah. Deep. So essentially, what we're saying is deep dig and uh, dig, dig deep. Yes, deep, 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 <laughs> dig, dig, deep, and you'll deep, find something. and you'll get to where you're trying to go. Yep. Trust the process. Trust the process and love it too. So, love the process too. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, thank you guys for listening. Yes. Until next time. Peace. Adios.